Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Fioroletta, content strategist for Retail Touchpoints, and I have joining me now Andres Valdivieso, who is CIO of Pharmacore. Andres, thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you, Alicia. So um, we're here at the Revionics Insight Show in Austin, and we're hearing so much around the empowered consumer, how they have access to more information than ever before. Um, and you know, retailers of all kinds are trying to keep pace. So to start off our conversation, I'd love to learn a little bit more about the Pharmacore business. I know you're kind of operating from two sides, um, convenience and then more pharmacy. So you know, how, how pricing and promotion strategies ha have kind of shifted or, or what you've had to do um, to better keep pace with consumer demands? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, for us at Pharmacorp, uh, as you mentioned, we have uh, two main business units, uh, the pharmacy, which is uh, our core, and the convenience store. Before Revionics, we had a very uh, sort of manual process for pricing, uh, and we uh, used to manage everything together. So now with Revionics, uh, we have been able to set up different pricing strategies for uh, pharmacy and for convenience. So before, um, we had the sense that our product uh, categories have grown too much mm -hmm. and uh, we started feeling that we were not granular enough. So uh, we knew at that point that we needed to change things. And uh, so we, you know, we started, uh, when we started with Revionics, one of the first things we did is um, develop a new pricing process. And then we tailored that pricing process separately for uh, pharmacy and convenience. That's great. So now that we know a little bit more about um, you know, the business and, and how you've been working with Revionics, um, I'd like to dive a little bit deeper into you know, how Revionics has helped you know, empower you and your business in terms of um, you know, matching or aligning prices um, based on your competition. I mean, what are you equipped to do now you know, in terms of remaining competitive um, but still profitable, right? That's, that's still important. Right. Yeah, uh, for us, you know, uh, being able to uh, keep a close eye on our competitors were, was very criti critical during the project. So uh, what we did is, uh, what, with the new tools that we had at hand, we were able to develop custom strategies. So uh, we developed, within our pricing uh, cycle, we developed a step where we measure our competitor, uh, our competitor prices. And uh, from the data we gather from our competitors, uh, what, we tr what we tried to do is, well, we developed, uh, to get a little more specific, we developed a custom strategy, which we, uh, which we called uh, Pure Competitive. Mm -hmm. And this strategy had the objective of making sure that for some categories, we would stay right there. We wouldn't price uh, much higher. And, and finding the right index, uh, the right price index, uh, in comparison to our competitor was one of those uh, key elements. What we have now is the ability to um, uh, work those strategies at the category level and uh, be priced uh, at that point where, we've, where we feel comfortable. Once we're there, uh, we uh, continue evaluating the data and uh, if we feel uh, that we can be uh, more uh, aggressive, we then go and reevaluate our strategy and see if we can um, uh, further uh, customize uh, our strategy. Oh, that's wonderful, Andres. So to, to close out our conversation, I mean, it's clear that Revionics has provided a, a lot of powerful tools and insight that, that your team needs, but um, how have you been able to leverage that science piece and, and combine it with the art of pricing? So the, the knowledge and the experience of your team, because I'm sure you need both to Absolutely. be successful. Yeah, yeah. So uh, when I mentioned that we had to develop these custom strategies and we worked on, on this uh, uh, custom pure competitive strategy, uh, this was the result of you know, uh, several tries at getting the right configuration. So what happened is that uh, at, you know, this, at one of the final stages of implementation, when we were testing uh, configuration, the, uh, the price elasticity engine was recommending prices that were uh, a little higher than we would feel comfortable with. So this point is that you know our experience, and in particular the experience of uh, one of our more uh, senior uh, analysts, uh, came into play, and uh, and you know she said you know basically uh, this 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 is I'm not comfortable with this, so we need to adjust this, and uh, what what she brought in is is that feeling she has from from our market and the way uh, what she knows about our consumers. So uh, in the end, you know when we realized everything and we put everything together. Uh, we knew that this was uh, precisely the, the art of setting the right price, right? So at that point, uh, we uh, further customized the strategy until we achieved the point in which uh, every, everybody was feeling comfortable. So, uh, you know, bottom line, we were able to uh, balance uh, 
the, the, the science of, of the right recommendation and the art of what we knew best, which is, you know, uh, our market and our consumer. Wow, that's really great, Andre. So, you know, I, I know you did your presentation earlier today at uh, Insight, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about um, you know, the value that you get out of the show. Is it the content? Is it the networking opportunities? What, what do you find so valuable at, at being at a show such as this? Well, I think it's a combination of both. And um, I just came out of a session. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the key things we're looking for when we come to, um, uh, to conferences like this is to, and now that we're users, you know, is to be able to uh, further enhance what we already uh, learned uh, to do, you know. Uh, I think that we have not yet uh, or there's, there's still a lot more opportunities to be more granular with how, how we set our pricing strategies. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sessions are really valuable in that regard. As I mentioned, you know, I just came out of a session uh, where we uh, discussed uh, how we can set the right price index uh, in our competitive prices. Mm -hmm. And uh, that kind of thing uh, gives us uh, a lot of insight on you know, what we can do in the future. So definitely uh, a lot of value there. Oh, that's great, Andres. Well, I appreciate you so much for uh, taking the time out to speak with me, tell me a little bit more about your business, and obviously the benefits you've seen since implementing Ravionics. Thank you again so much for taking the time out to speak with Thank me. Thank you, Alicia. It was my pleasure. Thank you. And uh, thanks everyone out there for watching.